Animal Crossing has been the perfect game to escape the global pandemic with. For anyone who's managed to miss the hype, the idea is pretty simple. You play as a human who relocates to an island full of anthropomorphic animals, where you spend your days fishing, catching bugs, and picking fruit. It debuted in 2001, and the most recent entry is as idyllic as the original. What you may not know is that the cast of characters are heavily influenced by Japanese culture, and we're going to take a look at some of them today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. New Horizons contains pretty much everything, from eagles to alligators, hippos to horses, but the most iconic are probably the Nook family, Tom, Timmy, and Tommy. While many players mistake them for raccoons, they're actually the unmistakably Japanese Tanuki, or raccoon dog. Tanuki are a symbol of wealth and a trickster, similar to the coyote in Native American culture. In the Japanese folklore though, Tanuki have giant testicles which they can knead into raincoats, fishing nets, or other objects as needed. It's no surprise this detail didn't make it into the cup for a family-friendly game. Nintendo decided to leave that one behind, but they kept the supernatural industriousness of the Tanuki in their design. You'll notice when you buy things from the Nook family at Nook's Cranny, they're given to you as leaves. This is a nod to the Tanuki's mythical powers of metamorphosis, thanks to their use of magical leaves. Another returning islander is Kabuki, the cranky tomcat wearing red face paint. This grumpy little cat also sings, and it shouldn't be much of a surprise, based on the fact he's named after Japan's most dramatic ancient art form. Kabuki Theatre is dance drama showcasing highly stylized mime. It's only performed by males, and exaggerated gestures express emotions. Performers also wear red, white, and black makeup on their faces and bodies, so it's easy to see where Kabuki the Cat got his design from. Some players might think Coco the Rabbit is a little weird looking for a rabbit, especially with black holes for her mouth and eyes. Well, she's a little strange right down to the name. Coco, the child eater, was a demonic spirit associated with the bogeyman who would hunt down and devour disobedient kids. Coco's design is also reminiscent of Haniwa, ritualistic clay figures which are buried with the dead in Japan to invite deceased spirits to inhabit them. It looks like Coco might actually be undead. Yikes. Red recently made a return in New Horizons, still flogging fake artwork and shady furniture. He also goes by the name Jolly Red, Crazy Red, and Cousin Red, and he definitely needs some aliases. Based on the Japanese folklore surrounding the fox, or Kitsune, Red embodies this legend well, especially the part where Kitsune have an expert ability to trick others. In some of the tales, they shapeshift into human forms, taking on roles as loyal friends, lovers, and spouses, so Red is certainly one to watch out for when he visits your island. One character who hasn't made a return, not yet at least, fan outcry may change that, is Cap and the Turtle, and he's certainly not the most innocent. The Japanese name for the character, Kappa, is much more on the nose. In Japanese folklore, Kappas were demons who preyed on children near lakes or rivers. The name is a combination of Kawa, river, and Wappa, child. They're said to lure people into the water and then pull them under. Similar to the Tanuki, they're also tricksters, but these tricks range from drowning victims, eating flesh, and kidnapping kids. This certainly makes Kappen's role as a ferryman in the previous games a little bit more sinister. So while the Tanuki or Kitsune may look cute on your own personal island, just be wary that there's more to them than meets the eye when you know a little bit more about the stories behind them. My personal favourite, Mr. Rossetti, might not be around to scold players who reset the game anymore, but there's still a whole plethora of characters for players old and new to enjoy. I'm Adam Doricott, and I'm off to return to my own island to religiously check my turnip prices for this week.